Hello and welcome back to Grimplay's Blood Omen Legacy of Cain. The last time we left off, we attempted to kill Malak, and it didn't turn out as we planned. Malak is still alive, and we were instructed by Ariel to go and find the Oracle, who would assumedly be able to uh, the axes. help us with our little predicament, versus Malak. And it occurs to me the last time I didn't give the uh, the axes a good enough try. So let's try to the guys out here, and we'll see how they do. Truthfully, I can't remember what the axes actually did. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I become a beer blade. That's what happens. Um, I also partially remember why I don't use these very often, but why I didn't use these very often. Because it's a little bit silly. Um, and yeah. I'm sorry I didn't... I've kind of taken the last two days off. It's because I said on the podcast, but I'm aware that not Iron everyone sword. watches that. It has any, you know, has any mean to watch that. Well, is it, sorry, any, has any in, has that much interest in that? That's what I meant to say. Uh, let's me earn an eye again. Um, there it is again. But yeah, my mental state hasn't been the best the past few days. I've like. I've had quite a bit of uh, a little bit of depression here and there and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm finally back and I'm finally at it again. And because stuff has been best, doesn't mean I should just uh, let's go by the wayside. So we have to go up there to the Oracle of Nosgoth. To get there, we have to move over to the, to the east of Malak's Bastion. How we go to the Samal of Bastion, we have yet to, is yet to be seen. Um, and I think we'll just fly to Malak's Bastion and see what happens. I don't think we will be going directly from Malak's Bastion, but we can see what happens. So we become we can we become bats and fly over there. First of all, I just need to make it so that I can actually get up there with this. There we go. I think we'll be going from where we left off at the end of... Also, I have my window open. If you guys hear anything, then that'll be why. I'm going to be trying to improve on my uh, little problems, of which I was informed when I got a little bit of feedback off Kine. Uh, Kupo. I don't think he minds what I call him, but... I think... it's My main problems when I'm doing this stuff is my... Uh, Un and then like I don't think we can get through here. We can't get through here. Do, wait, do the axes cut this down? I'm just trying to very quickly first before I properly the axes. This. Also, any other the axes. Oops. Oh right, I was looking at the wrong thing. Um, I'm wondering. I'm just wondering if the axes cut the trees down because the tens of the axes do. And it is. I was right. Hey, so that's all we use axes for. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just spin, spin King, spin into them. Ah, yes, that is in fact what we use these for. Oh yeah, and the other noise you might hear is my fridge. If you can hear that, then I am sorry. I don't, like, while I'm talking, I can't specifically take the sound away. I guess I could try using a noise reduction tool, not asking to take it out of the background, but that'd be the best I could do, I think. Ooh, ice. High upon the face of these cliffs, hidden amongst the complex network of caves, the underground sanctity of the wise Oracle of Nosgoth lay sleeping. Perhaps it was time to brave the winds and seek out this Oracle from the vantage point of the heavens. Well, that was quick. But yes, we will become bats in a little bit and... Seek out the Oracle oh, first. Oh, vampire, the game grows interesting. But with so many pawns, can you find the true player? Well, I don't know, Mr. Vampire. At least I'm assuming you're a vampire. Oh, I I temporarily forgot the predicament of vampires yeah. in this game. Or the game series, even. 
because it is not just this game of which the water damage comes into effect. Ow. What am I doing? Ugh. <laughs> Once again, I'm forgetting my capabilities. I could have just done that the whole time. Or maybe I won't become a uh, bat. Well, won't become bats and uh, gypsies. Oh, right, give me a second. These are human opponents, so we can use the mace on them. And we will use, we shall use the mace against them, because we need blood back. I need my health. I don't want to know, I don't want to repeat of Balak's past. Well, I am, I am mysteriously deprived of all blood. Which was quite intelligent in my life, to be honest. I mean, after all, he was running effectively armor create possessed armor creation facility. Ah! Oh, I killed him with this. Well, that was unexpected. Very victorious indeed. Now let's go and suck some more people. We need the blood. There we go. Uh, right. So there's two kids. One that's an. an uh, an entire cave system network. I get what I'm assuming is we have to use the bats to actually get to the Oracle's place. But first, let's just, let's just search this place out because uh, I almost spoiled his name there. But our vampire friend did talk to us just before. You heard nothing. <laughs> ah, hot dogs. And there is a zombie pirate. Who just so happens to still have blood. So we can still suck them. Ooh, flay as well, right? It. I don't know if that's a zombie. That's not a zombie. Um, that's an actual dude, but he has a really flexible arm, seemingly. And this is what we're just gonna do. This is easily, I think, the easiest way to actually kill people beyond, like, using. Um, wow, that hit the guy over there as well. That's impressive. There we go. Uh, it's just by far the easiest way to kill people in this game. Just swing twice with the mace, suck the blood, and that's it. There's not much else to it. Um, there will become an easier way to kill them later on, but that's then. This is now. Hello, hello! This looks interesting. The human mind is a fragile thing. One minor shock, properly timed, can render them catatonic and ripe for feeding. Yes! We have gained a new ability, which I think is a... when I... Yeah, it's this as well. This essentially lets us one-hit kill people. <laughs> it's just... yeah, I, I use a little bit of mana to do what the Spike Mace can do at range. Excellent. He just throws the mace, just like, wee, and just comes straight back using telekinesis. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, and it's got a homing capability as well, that's very interesting. I mean, I'll probably still use lightning move for it, but it's still pretty awesome. Oh. Oh boy. It's a good, guy. good thing these guys are really bad shoot shots. But this is also incredibly annoying. Alright. I think this is uh, the time where I use one of these. Because I've been hoarding these flares for a special occasion. Now we can, can see all of this. All of their flesh and flesh leave their bones. And their skeletons just fall and disappear mysteriously into the void, like all enemies. I swear, there's probably like some kind of enemy hell somewhere that's just that all bodies go to they just disappear oh jeez I might as well just do this oh the major upside is that ow I'm the kill I mean the major upside is I'm never going to run low on HP so long as I've got this, these abilities. But the game's out to give me everything I ever need. Just, you'll never die. You just suck their blood repeatedly after doing this. Uh. 
Come on. There we go. Got them all. And now I teleport. Into a save point. Oh yes, this is the end of the episode. I'm kidding. We're going to continue on for a bit because that was incredibly short. And there's no point in me just going bet between one or two of these. And then watch, I'll be sitting here for another two hours or something waiting for the next save point. I remember the last time I was the save point. Yeah. Nah, I've done it since then. And they're pretty good with their save point systems, honestly. Well, their save point placement, I should say, not systems. There's... I could use more slots. <laughs> Alright, so we can either go forward or through here. Let's go through here first and see what's this way. Just to scout it out. Aha! So we are back at the beginning of that place. Okay, cool. So there was a save point to the right, and I just never walked to the right, so I never found it. And I'm going to leave you guys because you're pests. Yes, that's all I think of you. I may have to take that out, if I can. <coughs> Aha! Oh. This should be the way forward, I think. Uh, oh, is that some guys like frozen to the wall now? Well, let's go. And, let's go and find out and see if we can. Uh, oh, oh, great! I suppose there is one upside to having the ability over having to swing the mace at them. Is that it should go straight away rather than needing it? And those guys can hit you pretty decently. Oh, oh, they're just spoiled corpses. Or you. There we go. Are you drinkable? No, you're not even attackable. Wow. Uh, alright, so we've got that way and we've got this way. So let's go, let's see what's this way first. I'm assuming both of these will lead to different areas on the cliff. Even though we don't seem to have ascended anything. Yeah, we're now on a cliff. <laughs> um, oh no, we've went down. Look at the distance. How did I travel that far in such a short in such a short period of time when all I did is walk? I mean, you would walk to get there. I'm just saying it didn't seem the distance that we actually travelled. It didn't seem like it is the distance we actually travelled. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, oh. We found a spirit of some sort. Alright, let's get the sword out because obviously the mace is not going to do very well against them. Uh, whereas our iron sword is obviously going to do far more, because logic. <coughs> unless hey, I'm going Victor! to be proven... No, no, there we go. I was going to say, unless I'm going to be proven wrong and that's the only way you can hurt it. No, look, then I would look really silly. Ooh, what's that? <coughs> uh, can I have the red girl human enemies back? <coughs> that is horrifying. <laughs> Whatever that is. Look like a dude with wings, but I mean, comparing size, that's quite a large dude. And that frost sap has been here so long; he is now just bones. Strange. You would have thought the frost would have, whatever that word is, that means keep them. Uh, my words today. I'm forgetting them. But we continue on nonetheless into our the continuing preserve. That's what I was trying to say. You would have thought that the the, the ice would have preserved his body. <coughs> cool. hey, At least a bit longer. I mean, the other guy is literally stuck on the wall. And... Ah, the the blobs are back. The other guy was strung up on the wall. And his entire like intestines open. I just wonder how long these people been here for. What have these people been doing in here? Unless he just died in there suddenly. Oh, yeah, no, no save point. Maybe this will be the end point of the episode. I think we should at least clear the cliffs before I end. It's only like 15 minutes so far, so. And yeah, so the blobs still die in one hit. The spirits seem to die in four. Or I mean, a full combo. A full Ve Victus. <laughs> and I will save it again. I'll just keep saving it because I want to keep the. Uh, Keep the progress going. I'll save over the other. I mean, generally, I should be saving in a new slot every single time, just in case something happens and I need to revert. But I don't think we've covered a distance enough for it to really matter that much. 
from the last episode. And plus, if I keep saving over the next slot, I'll eventually have to keep start saving over the other slots because that all those slots you see there are all the ones that are in the game. I suppose I could use the second memory card because it is digital. I'm not playing this off the... Uh... I mean, even if I was playing this off the PS3, the PS3 allows digital memory cards. So, yeah, I do still have a 60 gigabyte PS3, so I can't play all the games. And I got it off of the... Um... And I've got it on the digital store, so... I just felt like bringing up the fact that I had a 6 gigabyte for PS3 still, so I can't actually just stick a disc in, but I don't have a disc for all this, I just have it off the digital. But yeah, the digital memory cards are a thing. Don't know where I was going with that, really. Oh, hello, what the heck is this? I mean, he, he has the same fate of every other thing that does ranged in this game, where he will just botch it because he can only fire in certain amount of directions. Ah, hello. Alright, I think we'll need the Iron Mace for this. Just to knock down the uh, the crystal. Seeming crystal, I guess. It's, it's hard to see what it is. Those are proper crystals, then. <laughs> what the hell? This cave is pretty big. Well, this cave is really strange, is what I'm trying to say. Not pretty big. I can see the size of it by looking at the map. Why do I care if it's big or not? Right, so let's swap to our killing everything that isn't a human weapon. <coughs> I can kill humans with this, and I mean, it's probably a preferable weapon to kill humans with, but hitting them twice with an iron mace and then sucking their blood seems to be far more efficient. Or using a spell. I guess I should actually swap the spells, because I'm not dealing with humans at the moment. <coughs> I'm dealing with whatever this is. I'm actually not sure what this is. This looks like... I mean, it's very clearly some form of blob, but... A blob that's taken form, some kind of mud elemental thing, maybe? It's hard to see, honestly. I can barely tell. And to be honest, I don't want to keep one long live long enough for it to hit me, because, I mean, I haven't seen any humans so far, so... I wouldn't want to do that. Oh, well, I suppose uh, the game is happy enough to give us a little bit of blood. And, oh, that's, is that a floating virus? Or, uh, sorry, I mean the floating spike balls of, oh my god, why? And arrow traps, and whatever the heck this is. <laughs> it looks, it does look like it's made of some kind of mud or something, but then it's got green blood. It's some kind of demonic entity. That's what I'm going to call it. Uh, can't get across there. And I think this looks... This, I'll try jumping over in werewolf form, but I think that looks too, too far for it. Oh no, just far enough. And I, I just uh, run forward, bounce off the spike. The, bounce off the side of the spikes, which is actually a pit. Yeah, I mean, makes perfect sense, right? Okay, so let's continue. Uh, when I let this annoying ball... Floating balls! Uh... <laughs> right, so... This menu... This constantly having to swap through the menu is a little bit annoying. Because it's just like, well, I have to now swap out, get the aim mace, hit this... When, it, yeah, when I get to hit that. Get a bit of blood back. Um, oh, so there's two ways over. Ah, that's cool. And even though I was looking at this before and thinking exactly the same thing a little while ago, I just decided to look again. And then it was like, yeah, it's the same. Sorry, it's still, it, it's late once again. I'm just feeling a lot better today. Uh, no, it's tired. No, I'm near as tired, even though it's 12 o'clock. Alright, well, let's continue. More crystals, but I don't think this is one of the breakable ones. Oh, actually, I'll try it. I'll try it. Um, I think only the large pillar-like ones are the breakable ones. And this one is just... Yeah, it's... There. It's just there for decoration, almost. But you never know. Yeah. it. The, as we can tell from swinging at this angle, they're a part of, like the rock and the crystal are part of the same thing. So they're not going to like break it. 
I mean, it wouldn't be so hard to make a secret breaker, but there's no reason to. So, you know. So yeah, the big pillory crystals are the ones you can break. And this place looks like another annoying trap area. <laughs> Not like most of the dungeons in the game have been annoying trap areas. If I don't have to guess, on the left, right hand side there, that door is sort of the dungeon circling back on itself. And with that, it's a secret area which has a little extra goodies in it, which will be glorious if it is. So, I need to open the doors there to get forward, to get around, to get through that side, which will probably take me outside to another part of the cliff. And this side door here, which leads to somewhere. That is that is the circle back, and that door at least to somewhere. Well, let's find out where these somewheres are. Oh, my. oh hello! You're a werewolf! Or oh, something of the sort. Alright, here's another uh, crystal. Breakable crystal. Let's see what's inside, shall we? What goodies await us within this crystal? Come on. Ah, health upgrade. Excellent. And health. Wow, that was really nice, actually. So we got a health upgrade and health in the same thing, so we didn't miss out anything. Yeah. I should probably save the health. Maybe I should probably save the health. I don't know, actually, because then I have to go back through the traps in order just to get the health back. I was thinking it might be wiser to save the health, like, in place so I can go back to them if I get, like, hurt by enemies. But then it's just like, yeah, but then I have to go through everything I just got through to get here. I was just, I'm just touching this because I feel like, in my, oh, no, what have I done? I thought it was some kind of button. I thought the crystal might be a button in this area, so I, I walked over it like, oh yeah, I'll just touch this and see what happens. And then of course, the thing around the corner has to aggro on me. Thankfully, that time. Now, ranged things in this game may be really stupid, but when they work, they work pretty well. Alright, I'm just gonna range this dude. Even though strange, he has... <laughs> extend a arm, and then Kane's got his sword, but his sword arranges the extend a arm. Let's see what's in this room and see if there's any goodies in here. At least a new area, but at least to an entirely new part of the dungeon. Which I'm assuming if I was up there, I would have to go back through. Wait, is this just a goodie area? Is that a. Is my initial idea right? And is this just a goodie area? Or is this the right way to go? So this is the right way to go, I may have to go back through. Or is this an alternate way of through the entire place? We'll find out in a minute. <laughs> I'm asking a lot of questions. Ooh. God damn it, you balls. Oh, this is... I was going to say, if that stopped, like, right at the end there. Oh, that would be so cruel. Yes, the victors indeed. <coughs> wow, I can hit him from there? The range on the Iron Sword is insane. Even though I've been using it this entire time, it's just now coming on the realisation. Yeah, it, it's just... They're wonky hitboxes mixed with the... Um, uh, standard diagonal, stand at the right angle just to hit him so he can't hit you. Alright, the button is there. No. There we go. Being able to reactivate these is really strange. I know that the like they've used that in one like one or two of the puzzles thus far, like you just reactivating the buttons and making so you got the right pattern. But being able to do it to just about any of them is a bit odd. Because why would I want to close the door? They might as well just stay open. One of those little design things, it's just... I sit there faffing with the button because the game kinda... is just designed in a strange way so that you can repress the button at the same frame that you press the button. Because it activates so quickly and there's no cooldown to it at all. 
So you just keep opening and closing doors until you finally just hit that one moment where you pull away just in the right moment. Oh, is it not? Oh, I was going to say, if it's, it's, if it's timed as well, that'd be pretty mean. Ah, the ball! Please, ball. I'm not having a ball here, ball. Oh, the things I could do with that. Just walk into a dungeon. This dungeon has no balls. And thus, any view I had rolled the rise and closed the video. Because I repeatedly said balls. Right, so let's break these. I was going to say, if I can't break them, then where am I meant to go? And let's swap back to the weapon that will be killing things in here, because as per always, the Iron Mace does not kill. Well, it does kill, it just takes an excruciating amount of time. And doesn't. I don't think it has the range of the Iron Sword either. And I'm also not going to be using the axes, even though I'm a, like, they can do a lot more damage in a shorter period of time. It's just you're stuck in the spin to win animation, and... Oh great, I walked right into that. And I'm... I'm going to shoot badly right now. And... Oh no. And yes, I exploded with my lightning. Because Kane is Zeus. Now, he has no. Or every other god in ancient history and ancient mythology that does the light based abilities. Yeah. It's kind of strange that how we probably assume that with someone like Zeus, because just because he's typically. He's typically depicted as holding a lightning bolt this time, whereas like four. You don't typically imagine him with a lightning bolt in hand, you just sort of imagine him with his hammer. Also bringing down lightning with it, but... Yeah. Oh, I see! Okay. I thought when I pressed the button that it opened all of the doors in this area, but it wasn't the case. I've closed the doors now because I pressed the other button, however I've opened that door and that door. Whereas those two doors were... Yeah. <laughs> It doesn't make me too happy that these have popped back up again, but... Eh, what can you do? Hmm. Oh, jeez. I was just at the right angle there to just dodge that. The little uh, fireball he fired at me. Well, the, the mud ball, I guess. I can't... I still can't tell what he is. I'm just going to have to assume mud or maybe rock. If that's a rock element, then that's a very strange one considering he turns up a sludge and kill it. And just quickly swap them to you. It's just funny how the loading screens go. We're just sitting here staring at the loading screen for the most part. More than anything else, really. <coughs> Oh, that was... I'm going to have to start using lightning more. Just straight up. I... Or maybe flare. You know, I always keep forgetting. I, I... I'm a real hoarder sometimes. It's like, I just don't want to use them. I think this is breakable. Yeah, I think that, yeah, definitely breakable. It's like, I don't want to use them because then I'm using resources. Whereas my... Just my lightning bolts are free, but then the then the game's like, oh, then I'm giving you hundreds of them. I'm like, yeah, but resources. I must I must hoard. Yeah, I'm not using the axes. I'd rather have right now. I'd much rather have um, the ability to cast spells than have a second axe to spin with. Oh. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Just how wonky the hitbox is. I can stand over here, he was standing there, and I could hit him perfectly. And he could touch me. Oh, I know. I just got pinballed. Oh no. 
I'm getting flashbacks from that one time. Uh, I, I'm, I'm just really weary now. I'm, I swear it's going to happen again and I'm going to die off of it again. Or I just repeatedly slam off two sides of two spike pits or something. Uh, 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 oh, hello. Uh, 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 wow, this has taken quite a while. Yeah, that was a stronger version, definitely. I mean, I don't know what gave it away, the darker colours, the fact that it took me multiple multiple combos to kill him. Alright, there we go. Yeah, so the way down is there. I kind of want to go up very briefly, just to see if I can find anything. No, no, we're alright. So, onwards. Through here, what horrors await us further into this cave? Probably just more of the same, honestly. What was that? Oh, it closed on us. Timed. No. Was I timed but I had it triggered. Look at that! I think it's because of his. I actually think that's because of his attack. Like, his uh, slash he just misses us. And that's the only part of his body that can actually reach over here. So I think, because, even though his arm isn't actually physically stretching out, the game's hitbox kind of forces it forward, and and that's what we're hitting. We're hitting his attack effectively instead of him. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh, this one's being smart though. He's chasing us. And now he's done down with it. Yeah, there we go. Get some more flare, which I probably won't end up using because me. Uh-oh. Ow. There. I'm hitting with some attacks, but not all. I think that one was more or less just clipping him. Weirdly. <laughs> uh, this is why I love about older, older games like this. It's just so weird sometimes the things you can do, but it just. It's just one of those love things that. It's just one of those things. You just gotta love it. You just have to. Well, I mean, you don't have to love it. It could annoy you more than anything else, but. Wow, this is uh, a lot of precarious. Oh no. And the throwing arrows at me. I've got to just be real careful here. And did it without even touching it. Uh, yeah! I think that confirms it. My health is slowly going down over time. Which I guess makes sense for a vampire. The heart I mean. of darkness. And there's another death. It's... I'm sometimes delayed with reactions. But yeah. I'm just going to lightning bolt in the death. Screw you, sir. And we will get out our smashy stick. Our stunny smashy stick. And then we will hit this with our stunny smashy stick, and it will smash. And then we will get goodies, and we will be happy. Or whatever it gives us. Blood, that's what I need. Lead. I need this. I'm interested. I'm interested in this. Uh, uh, eh, uh, the downside of using a stick for one of these. Yeah, once again, I am using a controller with the left stick because the D-pad and the Xbox controllers are, as always, rather useless and crap. Well, not useless. I could be using it, but oh no, this is horrible. Oh, and once again, I forget about my own goddamn capabilities. Like, uh. uh What's up, dude? How's it going? How's it? How's it? Oh my god. That's that's cruel. That's just nasty. <laughs> it's like, as if this wasn't annoying enough as it was. No! I want it. I want to get it. Why are you stopping me from getting it? Screw it. Just run head first at the wall just to get it. Into the spike pit. Which. Doesn't, it's just so weird it bounces you off. It's like 
It's like somebody with a bouncy castle caught on the spike. Bit. But it's just so the spikes are still coming through when you bounce up when you hit it. No. Die. It's still another Malak's castle thing where the enemies in this area don't bleed, so you can't get blood from well, they bleed, but they bleed like some kind of green goopy glow glow stick nonsense. Because I don't know. The creatures in the wild, so the blood must be different. And it doesn't give me blood, it gives me flay, which is not what I wanted. But eh, it's it. Let me just kill you with my stunny stabbing, with my stunny smashy stick. And I died. <laughs> he eventually hit me. And I've evicted into the heart of darkness, of which I stuffed into my chest once again. Does he just. I still don't get it. Does he just take his heart? Like, does he. He's got the heart of darkness in him, obviously. So he takes the heart of darkness out, which fills it or something, with another heart of darkness, or replaces it with another heart of darkness. Like some kind of strange battery. Kane's own personal battery system. Just take it out and stick it back in. This doesn't make that didn't make any sense, but you know what I'm saying. Stick a fresh one in. Oh, I see. So I go around there and then go down there and over there and somewhere along there. There's the button. Okay, that's fine enough. And there's nothing this way because I have absolutely wiped out most of this area, except there could be something down here, and there is. What are you, Mr. Bony, slender man, thing? I will just cheese you because screw fighting you properly. I have next to no health left. Rather grouchy, actually. I have to keep taking the. I have to keep changing my heart of darkness. One of the expected lifespan of the heart of darkness is it's the life. What the expectancy is the heart of darkness. Let me just keep refilling it, though. I guess with these little jars of blood that are conveniently strewn about the place. Oh, a car passed. I'll have to that out. If I can. I doubt I can. I'll just be hearing nine car, not car noises because I can't bother to close my window. Because I'm a great LP -er. So professional. Wait, so on the way past here, that spike must have tripped as well. Oh, when I pressed a button, just so I can't go that way. That's a rather interesting way of doing it. I mean, I had no intention of going down there, but... Yeah, I guess it works. Now get out of here. <laughs> right, so I will now use Stunny Smashy Stick to once again break an ice thing and hope that it is not more flare, because I don't need more flare. My lightning bolts will almost literally take care of all of my problems of ranged. Yes, that is what I needed, my blood. I need my blood. And I need more blood. Give me. Ah. Uh, it was more flare. I was going to call it something completely different at start, but then flare actually kind of grew on me. Didn't like flare first, but now I use flare all the time when describing that. I'll keep my stick out for a bit. This is the last button for this little dungeon. And soon. We shall be up. I guess we didn't have to... Yes. Alright. This is where we're going to end the episode. I'm assuming that we are at the end right now. That this is the point before we end up in the Oracle's Domain. Yeah, I mean, there's not much to this room. So, I'm assuming as soon as we come out of the door, we'll be at the Oracle's place. And we will be happy. Oh, well. We'll get the answer to killing Malak. Is what we'll get. I probably won't be happy because no doubt that the Oracle will probably be trying to kill us as well. Either that or we'll walk in there for two seconds, find the answer, and then immediately fly off to Malak. And for some reason, some little part of me is telling me that won't be the case. Don't ask me why. <laughs> Not that you ever need, you need to ask me why. It's basic game stuff, isn't it? So yeah, thank you for watching. And next time, we will be off to visit the Oracle, as I just literally just said. Get the secret of killing Malak and restore the pillar of conflict. And 
So, I'll catch you later. See ya.